This is Bob Coima and Chad Thompson. We're here at the Center for Computation and Technology at the Louisiana State University. And we're playing with a little 3D TV here. We've made a little virtual reality installation. Move around a bit there, Chad. Move closer. Chad is using the thing now. He's looking around. He sees some virtual objects. What we've done is we've combined an off-the-shelf 3D TV. This is just a, a Panasonic Viera 58 inch. It's a field sequential 3D TV, um, active stereo. Uh, but what we've done with this is we've, we've combined it with a uh, Microsoft Connect. What the Connect does is tracks where we are. You got uh, Chad there in green with his skeleton showing. The cameraman, that's me in red. What this lets us do here is, is, is kind of interesting. If we know where Chad's skeleton is, there's Chad. We know where his head is, we know where his eyes are. What we can do is render two separate images to the 3D TV t such that he perceives a 3D, images, in a 3D image that's moving with him as if it were an extension of this reality. He sees that checkerboard plane statically in space and motionless as he moves around. Uh, get out your, uh, your, your hand there. He also has a little poker there which he perceives to be an extension of his hand with which he can uh, interact with the virtual reality. Well, here we are seeing the system from the camera's perspective. The uh, cameraman is being tracked now, so this is what it's like to, to use the system. And we can move around the room here, and uh, the perspective view changes as one would expect. We perceive that checkerboard plane to be in one constant position in this airplane. I can. I can look below the airplane, I can, I can look above it, I can fall the way to the side of it so it's flying at me. And that checkerboard, it, uh, it goes right up to the, uh, to the edges of the screen there. So if I, if I make myself perpendicular to the edge of the screen, we see a checkerboard lines up. On the right it works. If I move myself down to the uh, bottom of the bezel, we see the, the table flat. Works from far away. Works nearby. The result is a very clear, bright, very present 3D image, which we perceive to be an extension of reality. My hand also works. You can see there that uh, that poker sticks with my hand no matter which way I look or where I, where I put my hand. Well, this is especially interesting because now you can use this for a game, for example. You can have a gun that actually shoots through the screen at an enemy correctly. It's worth noting here that this is fully 3D. This is not a two-dimensional trick. This doesn't just work left and right and up and down. It works forward and back as well, which means that the zoom level, the shape of the perspective for us is changing. We're getting an, a correct off-axis projection no matter where we are in the room. So this is the tracker running. You can see it's got Chad in red there and me in green. That indicates that I am the track user. Chad can take control of the application at any time by doing the side pose. There he, he's in charge now. I can take it from him. Now I'm in charge. Uh, and we can have, uh, apparently, an arbitrary number of people in the room milling about, and at any given time, one of them is the track user. It switches seamlessly from person to person, and um, it works very well. All right, if we're both doing the side pose, it bounces back and forth between us very rapidly, which is a somewhat surprising form of um, track user roulette. Anyway, there, now Chad's got it. Uh, that works <laughs> extremely reliably. Here's another application. This is a uh, Starfield renderer. Uh, this shows the two and a half million stars of the Tycho dataset and the 120,000 stars of the Hipparchus dataset. Shows them in 3D. And this is a good demonstration for the system because it uh, it shows off us a, a sort of a well it shows off many of the unique features. Um, despite the fact that you're not seeing in 3D viewers of this video are seeing two of every star. But if we look around, this is actually, if we look up, there's the constellation Orion, sort of, see that? Uh, to the right, there's the, the Hyades cluster, and then much farther to the right is the Pleiades cluster. One of the really interesting pieces of information that we can get out of the Kinect, though, is the orientation of the user's head. For example, if I tilt my body like this, notice that those two large stars in the center remain aligned with my body and with this camera. That means that even when my head is tilted, 
I can still fuse the 3D stereoscopic image that's been presented to me. This is not the case with, say, a Blu-ray movie, which requires you keep your head level when you're looking at it. 